Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be talking about paper one, which most students sat yesterday. And uh, on the screen at the moment, there's a suggested mark scheme. Now, I don't know if these are correct. I've just gathered these uh, different answers from different corners of the internet. So I'm not guaranteeing these are the correct answers. I haven't seen the questions, so I don't know for myself. Um, but here you can see there's the topics of the questions and the marks and the answers. Now I'm pretty sure the marks are correct because I did hear that the paper was actually out of 83, which uh, I'm not sure is a mistake or, or what because the, the, they did say all of the papers would be out of 80 marks. So the fact this one is out of 83 is a bit strange. And also I'm pretty sure the topics of the questions are correct as well. But as for the answers, I can't say, I can't guarantee their accuracy. But if you want to have a quick look, here they all are. So what can we take away from paper one? Well, I've been hearing it was easier than last year's paper and a lot of students are saying it was easier than they expected it would be. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, it doesn't mean much because there's still two more papers to sit. So we don't know in terms of grade boundaries what this means. Uh, also for you, it means don't relax because papers two and three might be extra hard to make up for this easier non-calculator paper. That is to say, if it was in fact easier. So we can't say what's going to happen to the grade boundaries yet. Keep in mind that cal the calculator papers have often been considered more difficult than the non-calculator paper, despite what you might feel about them. Um, there are more difficult problems usually in the non-calculator papers, so keep that in mind. And uh, having a look at the topics that have come up, I did write a list of the topics that I would be expecting in the next two papers. Um, so iterations obviously hasn't come up. I'd say it's a fairly good chance that that will come up in either paper two or three. There hasn't been a question on quadratic graphs that I can see. Uh, so either graphing a quadratic or solving a problem involving a quadratic graph, that might come up. We haven't seen any questions on averages. So the mean, median and mode. That usually comes up somewhere. It might only be one or two marks, but it might pop up somewhere. There wasn't a question on simultaneous equations. Standard form. I would be expecting compound interest, I'd be expecting area intervals, vectors, I would say there's a fairly good chance there'll be a question on vectors either in paper two or paper three. There was a question on vectors in both sets of last year's exams. Polygons might come up, so they give you a regular polygon like an octagon or a hexagon and you need to figure out the interior and exterior angles or something related to that. Histograms, I'd be expecting a question on sequences, so work out the, the sequence for a list of numbers. They can often be quite difficult, so keep that in mind. There hasn't been a question on rearranging formula yet and also cumulative frequency I would be expecting to come up as well. And uh, of course, there are many other different topics that could come up, but they're the main ones that occurred to me. So as I said, these are the proposed marks. Again, nobody really knows if they're correct or not. In terms of the grade boundaries, Consider papers two and three might be extra hard, so don't relax yet and uh, consider what topics might be coming up. And also don't rule anything out. Just because these topics have appeared in paper one, it doesn't mean they can't come up in papers two and three as well. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, I think that's about all I had to say on this. Uh, if you want to send me any questions from the exam, uh, if you email me, I can reply to your email with what I think the answer would be. But if you do want to contact me by email, uh, you are welcome to do that. I'll post that in the description. And uh, if you do want a feedback on a question, send me the actual question if you can, or what you remember the question to be. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the break. I know this is a stressful time for you all, but uh, try to find some downtime. Try to find some time to do something you enjoy and relax for a little bit and take your mind off things. Um, I'll be going away for the weekend, so I won't be posting a video over the weekend, but I, I should have one up on Monday. Um, as to what I'll cover in that video, I'm not sure yet, probably something to do with one of the topics that I've listed down here. I might do a few questions on vectors if you think that would be useful. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content from the channel. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.